Hey guys, it's Andy. I'm back with you today to do another skincare video because just like I said last time, the cycle never ends ever, 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 ever. So once again, I've used my, my skin all weekend. Um, yeah, and I thought it was doing okay and it's not. Like I looked in the mirror today and I've got all these little bumps right here. And of course, I came home from work yesterday and I had a couple margaritas and then I passed out and slept with my makeup on again. So I really just, it needs it. It needs some refreshing. So I have accumulated a couple of my favorite products today. Um, this video is going to be less lengthy, if that makes sense. Um, with the other video, most of those masks took like 10 minutes. So that was like a really long skincare routine. This one is a much quicker skincare routine. It's much more manageable to do in 30 minutes to an hour. Um, an hour is really, really excessive though. It really should take you about 30 minutes to do all these products with everything um, said and done. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have today um, and then I will wash all my makeup off and we'll get started. So um, first of all, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for your watching this video, for clicking on the link. Um, if you have seen our videos before, hopefully you like them. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. It really helps our page. Um, and then if you don't, uh, or if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that way when we post new videos, you guys get updated on that and you can join us every time we decide to show you how bad my skin looks. So I'm going to jump into cleaning first. And this is, I mentioned it in my last video, this is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is pretty much what I use when I'm daily washing my face. Um, daily washing. I say that with print or with quotation marks because we all know that I mistreat my skin pretty terribly. But anyway, um, this is the hydrating facial cleanser. It's the oil-free one, um, with bursting beads. Uh, they have a couple of different ones in their collection. I love clean and clear. It's my favorite, like affordable day-to-day -day cleanser. It's like whatever, $5 at Target. So it's really very manageable in terms of like not breaking the bank. This one's lasted me for a good while. I keep it in my shower and then I just kind of move it back and forth when I need to wash it in the sink or whatever. So, um, but every time I take a shower, I definitely use it. So I'm going to go ahead and just start by washing my face. Um, I normally do two full pumps. That's what it looks like. It's just like a gel. Um, and I have a little, um, bowl of water right here. So I'm just going to like wet my hand and like wet my face. I'm going to go to the sink and wash it. So you guys like won't get to actually see that. Sorry. I know you really wanted to. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to like wet my face a little bit, which is kind of what I do anyway. And then I'm just going to rub my hands together, get all this pink off my eyes. I wanted my eyes to look like flamingos for work yesterday. I felt it was important because I had my eyes closed and I was rubbing them and that somehow made me see all the things I've forgotten in my life. Okay. Okay guys, so wash my face, got all the products off. Um, I have a warm washcloth. Um, like I said, I always have that with me pretty much when I'm doing some sort of skincare because it really does just kind of do a good job of getting all of the rest of everything off. Make sure all of the product is gone. Make sure all of my makeup is gone. Okay, so I think my skin's pretty clear now. Um, and I'm gonna take a dry towel and just kind of pat it dry. I'm going to jump into the Mario Badascu Botanical Exfoliating Scrub. Um, I really like his products and I use like his facial mist a lot. And um, this is one I got in a free gift. So I, I, I wish I could tell you where I got it, but I'm a sucker for a free gift. So I have so many like sample size products and things that have come in different free gifts. I'm sure it came from Ulta. I don't know when I got it though. So I have not used this one, so I'm hoping I don't actually know what it looks like. I'm just gonna put it directly on my skin, especially with the sample sizes. I, I tend to do that just because it's a little bit easier. And so it looks like it's clear. It's like a clear gel, but it kind of looks like there's like little almost sugar crystals in it or you know, that kind of consistency. So what I'm gonna do is now that I've got it, I may put a little bit more on, it's just depending. It actually might be sugar. Honestly, as I f like feel it, the granulated way it's kind of spreading into my skin. And I know sugar scrubs are really, really healthy for your skin. I didn't make the product. I'm just uh, out here guessing, you know? All right. 
So it's pretty well worked in there. I may add a little bit more later, but I don't feel like I need to at the moment, so I'm not going to. This is the Vanity Planet uh, spinning head brush. It was actually a gift from Nikki's grandparents like two Christmases ago. And um, it comes with three different attachments. It comes with this little guy, which is the um, facial brush. It comes with like a big body brush um, for when you're in the shower. And then it comes with like a foot scrubber too. So it was really cool. They gave it to me and I was like pretty excited about it. But I just don't really like want to pull these guys out all the time. So that's why I just don't use it. But um, I just kind of wet the brush head a little bit in my little handy dandy bowl that I have right here. And then I turn it on and just kind of get in there. This is really the area I want to focus on, so I'm probably going to put a little bit more of the products right there and just like really work it in. Oh. Am I beautiful yet? Alright, cool. So I feel like that's worked in there well enough. It's not a mask, this is just like an exfoliating scrub, so I don't need to let it sit. So I'm just going to take my little rag and wipe it off. I'm a big fan of exfoliating scrubs, I really am. You can tell by the clean and clear that I use daily, which has the exfoliating bursts in it. I just think that there's something that's really effective about really getting into your pores and kind of scrubbing them. I'm sure people would argue that it's not healthy to do that continuously, but I do like them a lot, so. And now we're gonna jump into a product that I'm really, really excited to share with you guys because I love this and I love this company. Um, it is the, where'd I put it? It's, it is the Bio Bell Botanical Face Mask, hashtag stay gorgeous. It is a face mask made with almond oil and vitamin E. And it is supposed to just kind of like make your skin glow and just rejuvenate it and kind of hopefully replenished with all those nutrients that we sometimes take out of it by mistreating it, especially me. I really like this company. They actually like, I posted pictures on my private page before I even thought about doing the YouTube channel and they followed me and they reached out to me and I was just like, wow, that's like really good marketing, you know, like to, to reach out to somebody who I don't have like a huge following. I've got like not even a thousand followers, like only about 800. So I was like, you know, that's a, that's really a nice company. Um, and I also love like when you remove these, like it's dripping with stuff, which means there's just like a lot of product on there. And I really like that. I really, 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 really respect a company that can produce a really good face mask because I think there's a lot of them out there and a lot of them are just kind of like, eh. let's get this guy. He's a, he's a, he's a juicy one. Mm. Ugh. Am I beautiful yet? I'm gonna keep saying that because I feel like it's just, uh, it's coming but I feel it. It's so cold and nice, especially after doing a scrub. That's why, that's why I do it like this. Like I, I mentioned it in my last video, but there's like really, there's a system to it because really like after you do one of those scrubs, your face is all warm and it's just like, oh, this just feels so good on it. What I also do is like, I put this on, I will flip the mask, so I'll get like both sides. So I try not to touch it too much because I don't want to get my dirty fingers all over it, even though like they've been washed because I just washed it. Okay guys, so I washed and I dried my face. Um, and now this is what the little pads that I just showed you look like. Um, they do tingle, like as they sit on your skin. I This is not one of the ones that I can leave on longer than what it says, like one to two minutes is really about as much as I can do it really starts to kind of irritate me um, but it's just kind of a nice way to finish the beauty routine like I said I mean it's anti wrinkle so it's not something that I'm super worried about but it is something that I'm trying to just work preventively to try and like you know make my skin especially since I abuse it as much as I do just try to try and make my skin like stay as a uh, taut as possible so Okay, so it's fully on there I'm gonna let it absorb for like a minute or two and then I'm going to finish it off with the Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Moisturizer from Peter Thomas Roth. After I um, let this absorb, it really hasn't started tingling yet, um, but I can just, like, it always starts, like, right around here, it just starts to itch, and then it, like, slowly goes up. It's the weirdest feeling. But as soon as I wipe my face off, I will put that on, and then I will finish it. I can already tell you guys, just looking at myself in the mirror, my skin looks better than when I first took my makeup off. Um, it just looked brighter. It's getting a little bit red from this mask because I told you with my 
touch of rosacea that it just that kind of like little stuff will irritate it and the bumps obviously didn't go away I knew they weren't going to go away immediately like it's it's not magic there's only so much that I can will them away but overall I just I my skin just looks brighter and, and healthier and a lot dewier so I probably could have left this on a little bit longer I'm not really concerned about it I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off and I'm not going to fully wash my face just because I just fully washed it and this stuff really doesn't bother me. This is normally, honestly, even if I'm standing in front of my sink, this is normally how I remove this little guy anyway. It just is much easier to, to use a washcloth. So let's get this uh, Hungarian, Mineral, Miner, Hungarian Mineral Cream on my face. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the um, Mario Badascu mask and just put it directly on the skin. Just in all of the main areas. And you can tell it honestly, like the way it does it, it honestly it kind of like makes my skin a little bit lighter. Okay, so this is the finished product. The routine itself probably wouldn't have taken much longer than about 35 minutes, I think. Um, letting that mask sit on my face for 20 minutes would have been more than fine. But overall, this is a much quicker routine. This is a much more manageable routine, I think, that you could do at night before bed. Um, during the week or you, you know anytime you, you really wanted to um, just depending on when you have like a good 30 minutes to just kind of like chill out at the house I really appreciate you guys looking at checking us out today looking at the video and uh, stopping by our page if you haven't already subscribed I know I mentioned that at the beginning but please make sure you do so that way you're notified when we post videos and if you like this one please give it a thumbs up I hope you guys have a great day and remember to always stay girly but with a dark twist